So hey guys, I just wanted to come uh, with another video. I'm going to try to make this video really quick because um, it's just a perspective video, I guess. I guess that's what you, I guess what you can call it. But anyways, I just wanted to holla at you. Um, I was actually talking with someone and I actually had thought about doing a video on this prior to uh, talking with her about um, thoughts. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, then you, you see that I, I post a lot about your thoughts create your reality and how your thoughts um, are manifested into a 3D, which is your, your reality. Um, which I truly, truly believe because if you have negative thoughts, if you have negative thoughts about the world, your life, who you are and other people, then that's going to be manifested in a positive life. Now, if you, on the other hand, if you have uh, negative thoughts about the world, yourself and other people, then that's what's going to be manifested in your reality. I think that it's important to uh, understand your thoughts recognize your thoughts, be aware of your thoughts. One of the things that I, how I understood my thoughts is that I, I probably need to turn this music off. <laughs> and so to become aware of your thoughts and what you're thinking. And prior to my whole journey on figuring out who I was and you know, my journey to self-discovery, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's different for everyone. Um, I always thought I was a positive person. I thought I looked at the world in a positive way until one day I just realized that perhaps, actually there were some situations that happened that led up to this, this epiphany of mine. And one time I was just like, well, let me just turn off the TV and stop listening to radio and actually be aware of my thoughts and what I'm thinking. And what I discovered was not pretty <laughs> um, because, you know, like I said, I thought I was a positive person, but when I really started to pay attention to the narrative that was in my head, I realized that I wasn't so positive. I was, um, there was a lot of self-doubt, um, a lot of negativity, a lot, a lot of like, a lot of it was self-doubt, but it was a lot of negative things that I'm like, wow, I didn't even realize that I was thinking because I'm always the person, I was, well, I still am, but I always was the person to always look on the bright side of things and try to see the positive of things, but I didn't realize, I didn't realize what was going through my head wasn't so positive. And so once I realized that, I made a choice to kind of reprogram my thoughts and try to try to be positive um, however that was not easy at all it, it was actually it, it still is because it is a, uh, a journey for sure but it's one of the hardest things that I do in life and I say do because it's present tense because it's always happening every day every day I have to make a choice to be aware of my thoughts and make a choice to either have positive, great thoughts and dismiss the ones that are not so positive or I can have those self-doubting thoughts that I was having prior to this journey. But one of the things that really, I, I really had a hard time understanding is why was I having these thoughts um, if we are so much bigger than our thoughts because I really truly believe that I, ho I hope you believe that too that you are truly bigger than these thoughts that you're having as a human being I couldn't really truly understand that until one day in some research I was doing someone I can't remember where I heard this from but someone just stated it so plainly they said your brain is a tool I was like your brain is a tool, just like your lungs are a tool. Uh, what's another organ? <laughs> your liver is a tool, your stomach is a tool. All of those are your organs and all of those parts of your anatomy are tools to keep you alive. They aren't who you are. So those thoughts that you get, <laughs> that your, your brain is a tool, if you think about it, your brain is a tool, your brain is designed to keep you alive. 
So those negative thoughts, those things that are keeping you from living out the dream or pursuing some of the visions you have for yourself because you're scared and um, keeping you in fear, that tool, your brain as a tool is designed to keep you safe, to keep you alive. So that's why it keeps you in fear. That's why you have these thoughts of not wanting to pursue the things that are innate in you. Because if though your life purpose wasn't a purpose, you wouldn't have that vision for yourself. But you have some thoughts, of, that some self-doubting thoughts, some, some like, even something as simple as want as being embarrassed like what are other people going to say about me those are those are thoughts from your tool of a brain to keep you in fear designed to keep you safe and alive so if you think of it that way and you realize these thoughts that you're having about fear and self-doubt and being embarrassed and what will other people think if I did this and all of these things, if you think about it in that perspective, you realize that, okay, these are just thoughts trying to keep me safe, trying to keep me alive, and I am not those thoughts. You know, it's trying to keep me in my comfort zone, and I'm so much more than that. I am so much more than these self-doubting thoughts, these fearful thoughts, these, um, Limit, limiting thoughts, I'm so much more than that, that I'm not these thoughts. And so when you think of it that way, it all becomes so much more clearer that it may, and it also makes it so much easier to go beyond those thoughts, to push through that fear, because you know what it is. It is not who you are. It's just designed to keep you safe. That's all. Just like all of the other organs and all of the other parts of your anatomy that are designed to keep you alive, and so is your brain. So I just thought that was something that I, I thought was very imperative to share because I think that a lot of times when it comes to pushing through fear, those thoughts are always the ones that keep us from doing it. And if you, if you think of it and you put it into perspective, then you realize, okay, I'm not these thoughts. And so it makes it easier to live out the life that you want to design for yourself. Because you are in control. Your higher self, who you really are, is in control. So I know that was kind of a little more lengthy than I intended it to be, but I thought that was so... I thought it was important to share because a lot of times, especially like when I, I talk to some people in my life and they're like, I don't understand how you do that or I can never do that. I'm like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, some of the things that I do in life, uh, you might think that I'm brave or, you know, like I'm, I'm not at all, but um, it's just a matter of pushing through the fear because honestly a lot of times I'm scared as hell like scared as hell like scared as hell and but I realize there's this oh my gosh I just posted a quote on Instagram the other day is one, one of my favorite quotes um, that everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear and that is so true everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. That fear, sorry, I was getting a message. That fear that those uh, limiting beliefs are designed to keep you safe and alive, and that's it, you know. At the end of the day, just realize if you're ever, in, uh, if you're ever at a point in your life where it, your fear is stopping you from doing something that you feel is is what you're you're supposed to be doing realize that that's that's just those thoughts are just thoughts they are not who you are um anyways that's all i have for today